Greetings from the Lone Star State of Texas. How great our God, how great our God. Then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee, how great thou art, how great thou art. I like to use as a subject this morning, what great cities need. What do great cities need? And uh, we'll be examining that thought from Jonah chapter 3 verse 2. It says, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bade thee. Now, the text tells us three things in chapter 1 and chapter 3 about the great city of Nineveh. First, the text tells us that this city was evil. Secondly, the text tells us that the report of their evil actions and their evil behavior and their evil ways had come up to God. So the city is evil and the angels had given God the message and God had seen for himself how wicked and evil the people were. Thirdly, the text tells us that the city was exceedingly great. Now, these are three facts that we need to have about the city as a foundation. As we plunge into what do great cities need in light of their great evil and their great wickedness. What do great cities need, my brothers and sisters? First. Great cities don't need more of the same. What do I mean by that? Great cities do not need the same politics. There's a phrase that great cities need to be made great again. Unfortunately, great cities are already great. They don't need to be made great again. But what great cities need it's first and foremost not a message of prosperity. Great cities do need to expand their standing armies. But first, great cities need a great word from God. Great cities need a great word from God. Today, the Bible, the Ten Commandments and prayers have been taken out. The architects have built a great city. But this great city was built without God. What do great cities need? First, great cities need a great word from God. Great cities need to hear from God. Secondly, what do great cities need? Great cities need God. Great cities need God. Thirdly, great cities need great repentance. Where the people turn to God, great cities need great righteousness. The Bible says righteousness exalts a nation. What do great cities need? Great cities need to fast. Great cities need to believe in God again. In this election season, the candidates are talking about everything and each other in a way that's so loud. However, what is missing in their talking point? Let's talk about God. Talk about how great he is and what he can do for us in a great way. My brothers and sisters, when our politicians forget to tell us about our great God, the text reminds us this morning that great righteousness can make a nation great again. My brothers and sisters, we serve a great God. That can take us from great judgment and disaster into great revival and great renewal. This has been your Bible teacher, Pastor Chandler Freeman from Texas. Tomorrow, same time in the world, we will continue to study great truths from the book of Jonah. God bless you and have a wonderful day.